What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. It is like 5 a.m. right now. I have not slept since yesterday. I don't know why I keep watching Netflix and YouTube fishing videos and all different kinds of stuff that are distracting me from sleeping. And a little bit ago I realized it was like 4.30 a.m. Nice day coming up, so we are heading out fishing. I decided I'm just going to pack up the boat and we're going to get out on the water. So let's get out there. I'll see you guys when we get fishing. Ow. Every time my head's turned, a fish hits. Not a bad fish for this lake, bass wise. A little above average. Quick get her unhooked. Basically, just following this weed line here, casting up to the pads, and I haven't really had, I've only had like two hits. Both times my head was turned. But not a bad way to start it off on top water. So quick get it back in. And that was on the good old OG Sammy right there. Got some wear and tear on it, but we're gonna keep fishing it. Get some more fish. Really surprised I haven't got any pike on this yet with how many there are in this lake. But for some reason with the amount of pike there are in here, I don't catch many out of this lake, but if we do, today's probably the day throwing swim jigs, top water, swim baits, stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back, start fishing the swim jig. I feel like we could still catch fish on top water, but it's 6.45 a.m. right now, so we've been fishing that for about an hour and only had the one fish and I missed one other one, or one or two. So we're just gonna start fishing some swim jigs through these weeds, hoping they're still up shallow, but otherwise I'll start heading out deep, um, start swim bait fishing, whatever it takes out deeper. That one. He's stuck up in the weeds. I think still on. Nope. He's gone. Dang it. But that brings up a good point. At like 4 a.m. when I could not sleep this morning, maybe even three at this point, I was watching videos on swim baits and stuff, more bigger swim baits. And one thing that a video I watched said, which was a really good point that I've never really thought of, is you know how when you guys lose a bait me too, whether it's like a $5 bait or Vision 110, or in the case of the video, Roman made mothers and really high-end swim baits. It's annoying to lose lures because you don't want to waste all that money throwing it away. Um, but one thing you got to do is realize that you are going to lose the bait and don't keep that from fishing in the areas that you should fish the bait. It's like right now, I obviously don't wanna lose this swim jig, but I'm fishing it in lily pads, thick cover. I keep getting weeds on, um, but that's where the fish are sitting. It's wasting time if you're not fishing in that area. So just figure you are gonna lose it eventually and just gotta kinda get to the fact of that. And don't stop that from 
having you fish in the correct areas where the fish are going to be. Yeah, that's a bass on the uh, swim jig out deeper. It's kind of what I was hoping to pattern them on today. Finally got one. Not a bad fish. Well, not as big as I thought. But, about the same size as the one earlier. Got a weird back on him there. Don't know what's up with that. It's like it's old scar. But that was on the swim jig. Out deep, that was about 15 to 18 foot I was casting it too. I'm on top of a hump right now casting out with the bluegill swim jig and yeah that one was right on kind of like the drop off where I was casting at when I got him uh, but yeah as you can see I'm in 13 casting out deeper right now This feels smaller, whatever it is. Yeah, another small bass. That's a nice fish. That's like a two pounder, I think. I was just gonna start going up shallow. Just started, I was like about to burn my bait in. And this guy hit. I might try up shallow, uh, just in this area, since it's not much of a drop off outside the weeds. But this is definitely a chunkier fish. Not much longer, only like an inch or two longer, but still a good fish there. And yeah, we're gonna start going in a little shallower, although I don't know if I should now that I just caught a couple fish in the same spot. But we can always come back out here. This might be a pike. No, he just hooked weird. Actually, hooked perfect, but a little bit smaller one. Came up shallower to see what we can get in these shallow weeds. Now that the sun's up higher, the fish might be. Uh, the fish that are up shallow might be in the thicker weeds, so getting some shade, but I'm going to keep trying on the shoreline. This has always been a fairly productive shoreline for me on this lake uh, when I used to fish it, so keep trying this. Otherwise, if we keep catching smaller fish like that one, I'll head back out deep. Dude, that was a that was a dogfish. Just followed my bait up. I thought that was a largemouth at first, otherwise I would have kept it in the water. 
Ooh, that was cool. I'm just in this like nasty area. A lot of weeds and stuff. And I just saw a fish following it up and that was a dogfish. Not a very big one. Probably 20 inches maybe. I don't know how big they get really. But that was a sweet, cool looking fish once I saw what it was. Might have to start fishing a frog in this area. I was just thinking that there is some nice weeds up shallow in here that I kind of wanted to fish a frog. So I might do that. Rig up the ribbit top toad probably. Crawl it across these weeds. And yeah, that was cool though. Hopefully I can get one. I've only seen like one other dogfish in my life. So I figured it was just another largemouth. Okay, so I've got the ribbit top toad on right now. I haven't really caught many fish on it, but with the action of it, I know if I fish it more, I will catch a bunch of fish on it. It's just a sweet little bait. Uh, typically throw in like hollow body frogs, or if I want a bunch of movement, I'll throw a buzz bait. However, with this bait, what's cool is it has a ton of action like a buzz bait, a bunch of uh, noise and kick and splash and everything. However, it's completely weedless like a hollow body frog. So we can throw it over lily pads, scum, just any nasty stuff and it still has a bunch of action. So I'm just gonna swing back to this point here and fish this whole bay again. And uh, this, yeah, this bay is shallow and weedy, uh, which is perfect. It's just a disgusting little bay, but I think that's where the dogfish should be sitting. Fish. I think that's, a, that's his large mouth. Right up by shore. And there we go. Quick catch and release. Not the species we were going for anyways. But, yeah, he came out and smoked the frog right next to shore. It's always fun catching him on top water. I just don't throw this bait enough. I'm gonna go power pull down right here and see if we can catch some more. Got a nice scummy flat area with weeds, a bunch of shallow weeds to my right. Hopefully we can get another one. Ooh, yeah, don't know what it is. He smoked it on the other side of this log. Ooh, that's a nice bass. I was just thinking to myself, I hope I don't catch a fish because I don't know how I'll pull it out of there. But right as I came over the log onto the side I needed, this guy hit. It's actually a good fish for this lake, probably like a two pounder on the frog. There we go, good fish. And yeah, he was on that ribbit top toad. Definitely a cool little fish there. A little bit shorter than I thought, but a couple of these fish today have been really fat for their length. So, quick get it right back in. Whew. Now, we need to do that same thing with a dogfish. Got one. Again, right on the other side of the log. Now it's stuck in the grass. Right as I came over the log again. I don't know why I keep casting farther since I probably won't be able to get a fish out of there. What do we have? Largemouth. There he goes. That's another like cookie cutter of the same size ones we keep catching. Whew. This is fun though. I keep getting excited every time I get a fish on the frog. But even though they're not dogfish, which would be cool, can't complain about catching bass, especially decent ones for this lake on frogs. 
uh, it does not look too pretty. There we go. Another little large mouth. And he's gone. Just sitting right down there still. That was on the Spro regular frog. I was just about to start fishing with a top toad again, but on some sort of hook. If I could figure something out with a swim bait hook or something. Uh, but then, of course, right away I got that fish. So who knows? I'll just keep doing this one for a while. See what happens. I'm just trying to fish it fast still so it has a bunch of action like the uh, top toad did. Especially since, not really in this part of the lake, but just in the lake in general, the wind's starting to pick up. A little more action will help. a little large mouth. Every time I start to lose faith in this pro, it catches one. Not a big one, but still a fish. There we go. All right, guys, I am going to put an end to this video. I've been fishing out here for like six hours now, probably. Caught quite a few fish, all largemouth, unfortunately, uh, but still can't complain about that. Um, but I'm gonna get off the water now, go get some sleep. Like I said, I'm going on no sleep right now. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Might come back out here another time, maybe tonight even, or tomorrow, but Regardless, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a thumbs up below as well as subscribe. We'll see you guys later.